the next day already. Why are people looking at me like that? I'm paying your salary. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Yeah, I, uh, I miss them too. Both of them. I know. Every day, I wish a father was still with us. He was wise beyond his years. And Martha. She was such a delight to have around. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... What my father... I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to hear. The whole city is watching to see what our next move is going to be. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. I'm on your side, Bruce. I need you to remember that. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. What's my position? CEO? I'll be right down, Lucius. She's kicking me out! Ooh! Oh my god! Wow! Is that how we do it? That seems a little bit too easy. Like, what if someone plays with the board? Oh, there's more. Okay, that makes sense. Wow. Oh, of course. It's good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. Hmm. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. You can't afford to lose their resources. The board's in a panic, but this will die down before it comes to that. I'm glad you're being optimistic about this, but I'm not so sure. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a backdoor into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into this system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Well, no shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using. I built it. You? Oh! What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? 
I was just about to ask. It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. Alfred, I've got news. What is it? Did Lucius find something? Bruce? <laughs> they hacked our tech. That's how they were listening on the police. This is worse than I thought. I'll contact the station. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains. How did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. I'm gonna keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Hmm. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. All right. Uh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. It's kind of sad. Because Lucius here knows what Batman... What the purpose of Batman really is, but the public perception of Batman doesn't seem to be very good. Earlier, that guy was pretty convinced that I like torturing people, and why is that? Was it because of that thing I did in episode 1? I'm not too sure. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. <laughs> oh, the news again? Newly elected Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. Who are the children of Arkham really fighting for? Who is Batman really protecting? Because it's not us. It's time that we, not masked vigilantes and violent fringe groups, fought for ourselves. I will fight every day for Gotham. And I ask that you join me. We are proud citizens of Gotham. And this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures citywide. Is he just really bitter that Batman didn't help him? Why is he so against me? Just because I didn't save your life? Well, I mean, that is a pretty valid reason for someone to become bitter, I guess. <laughs> okay. Lots of things on the desk. Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Excuse me? Are you talking about my heart? I feel like if someone broke into this place, it's so easy for my identity to be given away. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Cool. Hopefully we won't have to use it because it seems kind of lethal. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. I guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. Hmm. <laughs> Drone and a cowl. Thermal vision. <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. 
some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own, but it's not really ready yet. Hmm. And that's that. <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Here. Get that back to the Bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Great to know. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Even if the world abandons me, I still got my butler and Lucius. Hide everything. That's way too easily findable, though, I think. Mr. Wayne. Bruce. Open up. Uh oh. I think they've come to a consensus. I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. <sighs> well. The board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. We were out of options, I'm afraid. I won't do it. Bruce. This is my company. My name. And that name is exactly why we're in this situation. This isn't a request, Bruce. I ask to slow all this down, but the press release is going out as we speak. Wow! There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. I don't disagree. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Oh! Just until this mess gets cleared It's Cobblepot! And who would that be? Oh my god. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. Wow! What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. Now I know the board is run People by idiots. People are much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine, Cobblepot sits easier on the tongue. I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Wasn't he like a hobo? Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO oh. is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. You might want to check your facts, Regina. That resume sounds a little too good to be true. You might want to have more confidence in your own board. I don't! His resume checks out, and his references were all glowing. You're quite welcome to call them yourself. That won't be necessary. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. 
Why don't you start calling the place Cobblepot Enterprises while you're at it? Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present? Surely we could let him take this along. He's gonna drop it. Oh, what an ass. Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Though Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Right, Bruce. Well then, I'll help you out with that. Oh. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. Hold a it in. One. Hold it in. Something exotic. No need to lower myself to his level. Just shut up and leave. This way, Bruce. We don't need to say a single word to him. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. How does that guy have any credentials to be CEO? I don't believe that. It happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But I can't risk Cobblepot finding out what I'm up to. Oh, I don't know. No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But you're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. And let me know if anything comes up. Keep that drive safe. We might not be CEO anymore, but I suspect we should have some shares. We should be part of the board. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant Gordon, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Oh, please, God, don't let the stupid news play again. I want to read some stuff. Yes, too much for Batman. The GCPD task force intervened and attempted attack on Mayor Harvey Dent after his car was run off the road by members of the Children of Arkham last night. A witness stated that Dent fatally struck one of the Children of Arkham, although the GCPD refused to verify the account. Witnesses placed Batman on the scene, but only after the culprits escaped into the night, the GCPD has declined to comment on any affiliation they might have with the mass vigilante. Batman has stood for justice during his short time here in Gotham, but this recent attack has the citizens worried. If Batman is unable to protect the city's leader, can he be expected to protect the public from the actions of the children of the Arkham? What? I don't... 
They are expecting way too much from me. I'm not an official police force or anything. If I can be there and save somebody, hey, that's cool. But you can't blame me when I can't be there, right? Look at what you guys are just so entitled in this town. Batman and Catwoman, friends or foes? Friends of foes. As details following the mayoral debate continue to be released, one struck me as particularly odd. Batman was on the scene, but so was the mysterious Catwoman, the thief who broke into City Hall recently. The two were caught fighting atop City Hall after the break-in, and yet at the debate, they appear to be working together. Are they partners or enemies? Batman's actions have been quite questionable at best and horrific at worst. There seems to be no end to how far Batman will stoop to enact his vigilante justice. Batman even went so far as to save his feline companion after she was cornered by memories of the children of Arkham. What? <laughs> the way they phrase everything is pissing me off. It must be good to be friends with the Bat. Perhaps Mayor Harvey Dent should have donated to the Batman to ensure his own safety. Blah blah blah, whatever. Mysterious compound found in Gotham Warehouse. GCPD's Forensics Department has released their findings from Warehouse in Gotham's East End where they found several freight containers ransacked, residue from a massive explosion, and several bodies of assailants as well as members of the GCPD. Forensic scientists' leading theory is that the chemical found at the warehouse 133 was a similar drug to the one used at the mayoral debate. With the mayoral debate still under investigation, it's still too early to make any connection to the two crime scenes, a spokesperson said. The origins of the compound remain unknown. But recent shipping logs from the warehouse indicate that the chemical may have been developed by ACE chemicals in Gotham City. Oh, it's local. Frustration and relief over mayoral election. After Dent was elected to be mayor, following his now unopposed bid for the position, many citizens of Gotham expressed their support as well as their concerns over the new mayor. A Gothamite cited their relief. Imagine if Gotham had stayed under the thumb of Hill. He was a cancer in the city. I'm glad he's gone. Dent can actually raise our city up to where it belongs. It's not fair, a former Hamilton Hill supporter replied. What kind of city are we if we're willing to elect whoever happens to have a pulse? There wasn't even a second option. We don't know how many people actually voted for Dent. Not that it mattered in the end. Dent's poll numbers were well over 70% following the mayoral debate, negating the entire point of this person. Done. Demand for Bruce Wayne's resignation. I've done it already, get out of here. Following the recent allegations against Thomas Wayne concerning his connections to Carmine Falcone and Hill, citizens have begun to ask for Bruce Wayne to step down as CEO. While Bruce has always been in support of Gotham and her people, recent evidence against his father has only raised suspicions against Mr. Wayne and his company as a whole. No statement has been released so far. Yeah, you'll see something tomorrow, don't worry. We also have the Codex. How closely do we have to read this? Thomas Martha Wayne. My father built Wayne Enterprises on stolen land, built his fortune on the backs of his enemies, and did so while the authorities in charge turned a blind eye. I began this journey in memory of my parents' death, but now everything I knew about him, everything I've done as Batman, it was all just chasing a lie. Huh. There's a lot of really convincing evidence that Thomas and Martha Wayne are not good people, but I don't know, maybe it's some sort of undercover thing, because it is still kind of hard to believe that someone who did so much good for the city is so... So in the cahoots with the evil crime lords, so to say. Although, at the same time, even if it was true, it's understandable. It's just too dirty down here. Alfred? Never had a reason to doubt Alfred until recently, but he's still the only family I have anymore. He kept secrets from me, but I kept some from him too. Harvey Dent. I wonder how he would react if he knew it wasn't just Catwoman I saved at the debate, but Selina. I worry what will happen if he keeps pushing his own problems deeper and deeper. Hill? Hill gave the tape of my father gaslighting Esther Cobblepot, 
to the children of Arkham. Proves my father's criminal dealings, but for Hill, it was too little too late. Rather have him not be dead, but he is anyway. Murder and justice, not the same thing. Catwoman. She really helped me at the debate. After we've grown so close by meeting up like twice, there was no way I could leave her behind at the debate. Didn't realize how dangerous Penguin could be until the debate. He shot Mayor Hill without a care in the world. Did no one know? Like, they just elected this guy to be the new CEO. There's nothing left of the best friend I once had. Jim has placed a lot of trust in me recently, and I don't intend to break that trust anytime soon. We need to work together. I thought he would be mad at me for twisting that guy's arm or whatever back at the warehouse, but seems like he... he's not that mad. Vicky's had a rough time, especially getting roped on stage with Penguin at the debate. I'm just glad she got out of the theater safely. She's the only reporter that's been defending my family name in the press. Falcone's gone, killed by a police officer. Doesn't make it any easier for me though. He manipulated people for years, but in the end, he was manipulated by someone else. Montoya. I admire her for going against the children of Arkham, but that was really dangerous. Lucius. Ooh, I'm interested in this choice. I told Lucius to stay at the Wayne Enterprises. I know this guy would be great help with me at the Batcave, but... Like Bruce said, he's the only guy left at Wayne Enterprises on his side, so I feel like we need all of those we can get. Cause one day, one day, I'm gonna be CEO again. The masked leader of the Children of Arkham. We have no clue who it is. Hmm... I just wish I knew what they're really after so I can stop it. Children of Arkham, they officially reveal themselves at the debate, but the Children of Arkham have been lurking around for a while. The heist at City Hall, the stolen chemicals at the docks, Falcone's murder, they all link back to the Children of Arkham. Penguin's one of them, but I'm more worried about their leader. Understandable. Gotham City used to be ruled by Hill, Falcone, and my father. And now, Children of Arkham, ta-da! Arkham Asylum, that's the same. My own company, Wayne Enterprises, has made me step down as CEO. Bullcrap. Bullcrap. Hey, making me step down is okay, but making Cobblepot CEO is not okay. God. No. Yep, that's it. And I think we've seen the rest already, so... That's nice. Alright, let's get back to moving on. Which is, uh... No, there's not much else. Okay. Let's check the drive. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic oh, not the hologram. to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system... All of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. What if people think they're associated with Batman? That would be really bad. Oh, I can pick. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how Aww. they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. Oh, maybe Hill was gonna give me that before when I was talking to him. 
City Hall, record of Gotham mayors. Bill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. Oh. That's interesting. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time. The understatement of the century. Considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes. Just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? No. Is this time-based? That kind of worries me. Not yet. So we've... Oh, we can warn Harvey. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. This whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. That easy. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. <laughs> One less problem to deal with. That didn't sound like anything was under control. Oh, God. Well, let's go warn Harvey. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. I'm a little bit surprised they have no security measures Very for this. Good, Talk about data getting into the wrong hands.